all right guys so we are back um i believe this is chapter six i think or the start of chapter six at the very least i can't remember um yeah it's been like two days since i last played <laughs> in any ways guys but before we get started y'all already know what you need to do if you haven't spent any time with god yet pause this video go read yourself a chapter in the bible or go ahead and pray for about five minutes and then you can come back because this video is always going to be here for you. But on this channel, on this channel, we seek the kingdom of heaven first. So let's go ahead and uh, get on into it. Where's? How y'all been doing today? Been doing good. I was playing some uh, fantasy, some Grand Blue Fantasy Relink the other or yesterday. That was, that was really fun. I got some uh, surprise with that. If I don't upload it before this video, which I think I will, but anyways. Oh, there you are. Huh. I can see the moon more clearly from here. And I can feel the breeze on my face. Oh, you're just being so mysterious, Joshua. She's, she's trying to make a move on old boy. Hm. All right. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Hold up. <laughs> I had to take a swig. I was dehydrated. I need some water. Okay. Okay. Looks like you aren't just trying to be cool. This is the sort of... Th what? What? This is the sort of thing your job takes, isn't it? Uh, the moonlight, the position of the clouds, the flow of the wind. Every detail is vital. I wish to lower the possibility of failure as much as possible. Lower the... Lower the... Don't say it like that, you idiot. If you fail, you'll die, you know? Eh, don't worry. The possibility of failure is very remote. Back in my previous life, I used to conduct missions like this every day. The real danger will come if I succeed. Hey, Joshua. Do you really absolutely need to do all of this? Hmm? You're Erebonian, same as us. I mean, yeah. Circumstances mean that none of us can really go home, but... I just don't get it. Why do you feel like you owe this piddly little backwater anything? Just let these Ouroboros idiots do whatever they want. Hmm. And hey, it's still not too late, you know. You can come with us, away from Libero. We can head out to some independent state and raise our flag there, you know. Well, I know of one independent state. And hey, if you really don't like the whole Sky Bandit gig, we can try and find something else to do. She said we. And I was talking to Kyle and Don, and we were thinking the Bobcat could make a good legit shipping vessel. You know, speed and all. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. This is something, this particular, uh, yeah, this particular line of text right here is something that I completely over, like I completely missed. Wow, that's something. Okay, that is something. An airship delivery service. I can see it having potential. Demand for that kind of service is certainly going up. <laughs> they're trying. They're trying to do a aerial Amazon. Let's go. It'd be actually my thing with Amazon. They kind of the last thing I ordered from Amazon. Um, I ordered a blanket, which I have on me right now. Like I'm sitting on top of it. I'm not using it. I'm sitting on top of it. It was a fleece blanket. I ordered it. It took two weeks to get here, despite it saying it was going to be here within two days. It was ridiculous. And then, um, before that, I tried buying my mom a... My mom's a collector of, like, black Barbie dolls and black Cabbage Patch, kid, cabbage patch Kids, if you guys know what those are. Um, she wanted a certain black Barbie doll for Christmas. It was a Katherine Johnson Barbie doll. I found it. It ran about, like, 200-something dollars. And I bought it, and Amazon didn't send me an email that they gave me my money back and canceled my order. I don't know why they did that, but I waited for like three weeks for it to come in. And I just happened to check the app, and it said, yeah, we gave your money back. I'm like, you didn't even send me an email, dude. I didn't even get a notification on Amazon either. And I have notifications turned on, I believe. Yeah, so Amazon isn't really, um, doesn't really have my praises at the moment, but yeah. But it would be safer, yeah, it would be a safer job than Sky Banditry at any rate. Well, then, technically, we, uh, do have some berths open. That you do. 
Once I've crushed the society's plan, and if I manage to survive, I'll think it over. Huh? Ah, you needn't worry. This completes our contract. As promised, your cooperation here means I'll consider the favor you owe me redeemed. You can depart whenever. I won't mind. Get it. Hmm? You idiot moron jerk. Who the heck was talking about debt? Just forget it. Who cares about you? Just go leap into the danger and die, if that's all you want to do. Sorry, Josette. Idios mercy. Not even playing dumb, is it? Kyle? I do wish she finally grow out of her more childish tendencies. Even so, I think you could have handled that better. It's true. I cannot apologize, but I do feel sorry for what I've done to her. Man, you sure have an odd way of being nice. Stray. Alright, you want to make it up to her? Give her that, yeah, give that offer some serious thought. Assuming, of course, you won't be joining up again with your nice young bracer lady after this. <laughs> no, that won't be happening. In the end, the worlds we live in are too different. She and I, yeah, she and I should never meet again. It's for the best. Hmm. Well, if that's how you think. In that case, Josette's offer does have some appeal, yeah? It does. And I'm going to give it some thought. Yeah, who decided to show themselves? Gone. Is that them? Yeah, it's just like the lad predicted. They're approaching from the northeast. Well, you heard the man. To the bridge. Got it. Oh, we're starting off playing as Joshua. Okay. Alright, hey, get a move on. The boss is on the bridge. Bobcat's in perfect condition. In other words, everything else is on you. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Let me, uh, let me check the make. Okay, so it doesn't talk about anything about this. We're level out anyways. We're level 72. That is ridiculous. This man is cheating. He has all of this. Level 72? That's ridiculous. Ah, there you are. What's the situation? Eh, just what you predicted it would be. Look at the display. Altitude 156 arch. Or, blah blah. 1,560 arch. I can't hear. Entering Liberian territory from the north. Yeah, from the north northeast. At 2,100 cells per hour. With that kind of altitude and speed, they aren't a normal ship. Looks like that special radar of yours is working, eh? Don't congratulate me just yet. We don't know who they are. It's possible they're Erebonian scout ships or something. Kyle, do we have a visual contact yet? Got him. Send in the image to your display. Now, there's no doubt that's our target. Well, that's the stage set then. Now it's getting exciting. Let's do this then. Lad, you're ready for this, right? Absolutely. Once I'm in place, begin immediately. Huh? Don, Kyle, Josette, thank you for everything. Our relationship may have been based on a contract, but I'm glad I met you. It would be a bit more appropriate to say uh, to say it once the mission was over with, but I may not get the opportunity. So let me say it now. Thank you. Be well, everyone. He just... <laughs> dramatic to the very end. Uh, 
even at the very end, you managed to be so uncute. What's all this thank you business with a face like you're walking into your execution? You think hearing that'll make me happy? You think those are the words I want to hear? Set. Just promise me that you won't do anything too crazy. That you'll come back alive. Given who I'm about to pick, uh, to pick a war with, I can't guarantee anything. But, but, I will promise this. Even if I don't succeed in my goal, I'll come back alive and give you all my thanks. Will that be enough? Yeah. And don't forget, I collect on my promise, Buster. Alright. Crimson Soldier. Altitude stable out of uh blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, I I can't do numbers. I have to think about it. Fifteen hundred, fifty nine. Fifty nine art, sure, yeah. Crossing into Liberian airspace now. Set course to Viralia Lake. Roger. Doesn't look like the Liberian airships noticed us. Stealth functionality. Nice little piece of tech they landed us with. Alright. Well, if you don't have the... Yeah, if you don't have that doohickey, we'd be causing a bit of a fuss right about now, you know? I mean... He's like, I mean, forget us. Imagine... Yeah, imagine what would happen if those Liberian... If those Libero Hicks saw that monster coming for them. Yeah. <sighs> Don't I wish I could see that? What? We under attack? The heck are those idiots panicking for? Check the dang radar. Uh, contact. One small ship approaching from the four o'clock. Database match found. Cap yeah, the capital Sky Bandit ship, Bobcat. Uh, Reinford mate. Sky Bandit. Reinford. Gotta love good old Reinford. Yeah, they don't want the beef. I am speeding it up, by the way. They're in the sky. It should be fast, right? Blow them up! That boy has. That boy had a uh, wild sense turned on. All right, it worked. <laughs> so it did. Well, time for us to beat it then. They said deuces. Well, the airship is breaking off. Well, what do we do? Do we pursue? Nah, just leave him alone. If they were a warrior army, we would have to uh, pick them all. But we don't have time to bother with small fries. Understood. Right. Our only job is clearing the glory. Yeah, is clearing the glorious flight path. Let's head back. Yeah, let's head back to base for now. We should let Sir Campanella know about the bandits. Campanella, the glorious. They're pulling out as well. Everything went exactly like he thought it would. Yeah. Set, don't worry. It's Joshua Astray. Astray? Ast right, that's his last. That's his actual last name. I forgot. Anyways. Yeah, it's Joshua we're talking about. He'll come back safe. Yeah. Yeah, he will. Hope he's got a promise to keep after all. That he does. Alright, chapter 6, Whereabouts of Bonds. Okay, so the guy didn't say anything about that, which I was really confused. Like, normally it would say, like, oh yeah, you'll start off with a large cutscene or something like that. But it didn't say that, it just went straight into the post-game, for or post-chapter 5 quest stuff. But yeah. Oh boy, I'm wondering if he wanted to get the last word in. Well, the Blade Lord is bold, if nothing else. <laughs> no kidding. 
and I really screwed up in letting him get away. Sorry, guys. I've got no excuse. No, you... Yeah, you made the right choice in letting him go. A graveyard is no place for the living to settle their arguments. Amo, though. Why is that causing an itch in the back of my skull? Yeah, didn't they mention that before? Do you know anything, Chloe? I don't. I'm sorry. I imagine Grandmother would know something, but... Given that it seems to be some kind of state of, uh, some kind of state secret, she may not be willing to tell me until I'm older. Uh, well, good point. How about you, Olivier? Amo's an Arabonia, right? Huh, it is, although... Even we don't speak of it much. So, it's always a surprise to hear it brought up in a conversation. Oh, why's that? Amo was a village in the southernmost reaches of the Empire, near the Barbarian Empire, or border. I say was, for... Yeah, I say was. For you will find it on the map no longer in the Empire today. Huh? Wait. It's not gone, is it? The village was demolished in a landslide some time ago. A number of residents lost their lives then. As I understand it, it is now little more than empty ruins and ghosts. That's awful! Well, that's just it, huh? But... Still... Even if a lot of people die, there's no excuse for his actions. I have undersold the scale of the disaster, I think. Rumor says that it rumor says that very few of the villagers survive. Only rescue units saw precisely what happened. But few living these days can claim to know the Hamo resident. It was that bad? It's not unheard of for landslides to swallow entire settlements. They're sometimes called mountain tsunamis. Because of how they create waves of pure rock and earth. Well, it's an odd thing to suddenly bring up in context, however. I mean, what in the world would Hamel have to do with Her Majesty and General Morgan? Or Libero at all? Alas, at this point, we don't know enough to confirm or deny anything. Well, let me poke my old nose around in various corners of the guild to see if I can find anything. And enough about Hommel for now. We have other business. First of all, let me give you payment for all that you've done. Alright, so we should have 235... Okay, it says we should have 278 BP, but... I'm really confused on why I only have 244. C51. Oh, got the Grail Locket. Nice. Okay, so that's not... Okay, if you've done everything up to this point, I should have 272 BP. Oh, okay, that's why. Because I still have si I still have uh, post content to do. I still have post content to do. I'm sorry, or post chapter five content. That's why we're. That's why we don't have it all. All right. Anyways, you went through a lot with the dragon mess. All right, you've done the name of the guild proud. Huh? Well, you really think so? Well, we still didn't stop whatever experiment that they were running. Don't think we can claim. Don't think we can claim much for a victory on this one. This also means that they've conducted experiments in all of the barrel's major regions. We have to figure out what the society plans to do next as we or as soon as we can. Yes, about that. Why don't you all take a break for a little while? Huh? Best. But Shara just said, I heard, but I'm serious. You've been running around from Rouen to Grand Cell to here. Solving case after case with barely as much time to sleep. Well, he's not wrong. If you don't take yeah, if you don't take a if you don't take at least a single moment to unwind, you'll snap your sprint. But we can't just take a break in the middle of something so important. We need to be able to get out yeah, we need to be able to get out there if we yeah, if they pull something. I don't know if we can just slack off, but the old man does have a point. The army's patrols have kicked into high gears thanks to all the dragon shenanigans. They should be able to handle any immediate danger, I think. And I've been meaning to mention 
It seems Kurt's... Yeah, it seems Kurt's teams have found it. Huh? It... Wait, like... You mean they found Ouroboros' base? Yes. Kurt reported they got a solid lead a few days ago. And if they can pinpoint the base, he'll be busy again soon enough. So I really think it would be a good idea to rest while you can. Yeah, I see. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'll take you up on that, Lugrin. Remember, part of a bracer's duty is to ensure that we can keep performing it, er, that he can, can keep performing his duties. Getting rest is part of that. True enough? Well, I guess the world ain't gonna end if we take a breather. Bracer, window, yeah, Bracer Wisdom prevails again, Zen. You are a sage and a gentleman. Still, Lugrin? Given that you're suggesting a break, I assume you are a designation... I assume you have a designation in mind. <laughs> Sharp Olivier. Oh, truth be told, I got a little something nice from Mayor Maybell. She wanted to... Yeah, she wanted it separate from your normal pay for the dragon business. Huh? What else could she be paying us with? Oh, just a reservation at the Kingfisher Inn at the lakefront up to the south. She's paid for all of you to stay there for three days. Seriously? Sweet. Alright, we got the overnight ticket. Let's go. Huh. Uh, the hospitality of Bose's beautiful mayor once again shines like a beacon through the fog of weariness. I'm sorry. Hold on, give me a sec. Alright. Yes, it's just like Mayor Maybell, um, uh, to do something like this. So, we're going on a vacation, right? To the Kingfisher Inn? Mm-hmm, that's right. It's a luxurious inn with a fantastic view of Veralia Lake. They're famous for their food, fine spirits, and they provide boats for going out onto the lake. Well, that sounds great. This does sound like a nice little vacation. Yeah, if we gotta take a load off Kingfisher, yeah, Kingfisher's close to the best place on the barrel to do it. Well, you got that right. Let's not waste Mayor Maybell's kindness, guys. Come on. Alright, you may now configure uh, configure your party, swap party members out, and their gear as needed. Alright, I got my team for right now. Took a minute. It's like, alright, then we'll head for the Kingfisher Inn first. Thanks for doing this, guys. Make sure that we all get checked in. We've been called ahead of us, so I doubt we'll have too much trouble getting rooms for everyone. Leave it to us, Estelle. Alright then. Okay. So, should we probably check the guild board just in case that we don't think? I mean, the whole dragon mess has died down. But I might have kicked up some Yeah, but it might have kicked up some other issues. I'm still kinda worried about. Well, Lugrin did have a point earlier, remember? There is some wisdom into not overdoing it simply and like and simply enjoying and simply going to enjoy the lakefront. Oh, well, you have a point. Alright. Let's just tie up any loose ends and then head for Rally Lake. Let's. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to necessarily be tying up just yet. Um see now we we okay, so we have term long. Long, long. Okay, so. Alright, so we come here. Ah, it's you guys. Sounds like you have kind of. Uh, sounds like you kids uh, managed to calm the ancient dragon down without any problems cropping up. And thanks for that. Alright, thanks for that, by the way. Living next to a raging flying legend wasn't exactly something I was looking forward to. Well, we really couldn't have it uh, done it without your help, Mr. Wilmer. Uh, seriously, we owe you one. Yes, thank you for helping us, sir. Well, you came all the way out here just to say that. Hmm. Well, uh, don't you have all the free time in the world? Well, that's, um, not really the reason where... Oh, I guess it is kind of true. Well, either way, I'm grateful. If you ever need to take a load off, you're always welcome to come here. Also, if you're hungry, feel free to help yourself to some of this stew in the pot over there. Oh! Oh, you don't mind if we have a, have a little time to eat? Yeah, at least I can do. Eating that takes a fair bit of courage, mind you. Still, bigger bracers like you would work up an appetite with the scuffles. Oh, anything's worth once, right? 
All right, so we got the dark stew, unfortunately. Learn the dark stew recipe. Huh? Kids down that stuff like it was nothing. Uh, come by again anytime. Why does Estelle have no health? What happened to her health? 15 health? Alright, the dragon apparently fled without being seriously injured. As unpopular as I know our dragon friend is right now, as a researcher of ancient life, I have to admit I'm relieved it got away. I can make, yeah, I can make quite a bit of progress with just the photos we took. If I can keep them. How much I'll be able to publish will be up to negotiating skills now, not my scientific ones. So we're looking for a guy named Carlos. He has a book that we can grab. Here he is. Well, and that's it. I'm no longer an army man. Time to say goodbye to the uniform. Oh yeah, uh, to mark the occasion, let me give you guys this. We got Gambler Jack Value 9. Nice. Alright, that book was my secret pleasure uh, during the more boring parts of the base life. Still, though, looking back on it, it wasn't all that long, but life in the army was more fun than I expected. Alright, time to finish the discharge. It's been quite the runaround. Alright, so we have Gambler Jack Value 9. However, we are missing Value 8. Value 8 is actually, we can actually get. We have to go to Ravenue Village to grab that. Alright guys, so we're back. I got Gambler Jack 8. Um, you get that from Louie and um, what's it called? So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and talk to the NPCs and then we'll make our way. Alright. The markets respond for, yeah, the markets respond for business with no delay. The flights and ships resume, so everything is as it should be again. Ah, what a tough old town Bose is. Uh, pardon, can I have a moment? Of course, what is it? Uh, you're, uh, you're Corna. Uh, we're from the Bracer Guild. Oh, yes, thank you for coming. I've been waiting. This must be... Yeah, this must be about my request. Nice to meet you. Then I'm Estelle Bright, Senior Bracer. My apologies for calling you like this. But I fear I have no other resources left to me. This will take some time to explain. Can you hear me out? As much as I want to hear it, yeah, sure, let's not, why not? Well, of course, go ahead. This will take a while. Uh, there's no need to stand around here. Let's go have a seat and talk. Good idea. Uh, let me see if I can claim us a table. So, ma'am, you're searching for someone, yes? Someone you haven't seen in ten years, was it? Yeah. Oh, I remember her. She was looking for somebody in the, uh, if you guys remember, she was one of those NPCs that kept looking for somebody, but she couldn't find them. I'm searching for my niece. Her name is, uh, her name is Rainy. If she's alive, she should be about 20 now. Wait, if she's alive? I don't quite... Ah, wait, 10 years ago. I think I can guess what this is about. 100 Days War, yes? Oh, yes, exactly. When hostilities broke out, my sister was staying in the city. She hasn't been able to get out before the Imperial... Yeah, she wasn't able to get out before the Imperial reached the city. And thanks to an acquaintance of mine, of my sister, I soon learned that her and her husband's passing. And while I never had word exactly of what happened to Rainy, well, if it is easy to just assume, it's been ten long years. I'd completely given up assuming that Rainy had long since joined the goddess. But very recently I learned something new. A source told me that Rainy had not only survived, but had been adopted by someone here in Bose. So then you think Rainy's alive? Honestly, I don't know. I barely dare to hope. And what's worse is that my source was vague. I have no idea who adopted her. Hmm. Well, that makes things harder. But my heart tells me to believe. To believe the sweet little girl my sister loved is still alive. I must believe, which is why I beg you to help me. We understand, ma'am. Don't worry. It's definitely worth investigating much of a way of clues, though. All we have is a name and an age, right? Well, I do have a photograph of Rainy as well. A photo? Well, that'll help. Yes, it's not much, but... She's adorable. <laughs> we all know exactly who that is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Quite. I assume this is her age at 10. Yes. 
was yeah, it was taken on her 10th birthday. Just before the family left on holiday. So, something bothering me? Oh, it's nothing really. I was just kinda mad, I guess. An innocent kid like that caught up in a stupid war? It is hard to find words. It falls to us then, uh, to make it right. Ah, yeah. Ma'am, we will take this photograph if you don't mind. Please, by all means. Well, we know what she looks like. Alright, well, looks like now, but... How are we actually gonna do this? Rainy could be anywhere. She might not even be in Bose anymore. We do have the photograph. It's very possible somebody will remember her. You think that'll work? Yes. It has only been 10 years. Even if no one remembers exactly what happened to her, there's a fair chance that someone at least remembers her. Well, it's our best shot, I guess. Now let's start asking around then. Please, you are my only hope. If you find anything out, come by here again. We will. Alright, so I ask, this is why I need to stop accidentally accepting quests. Because I believe I know exactly who this uh, person is. Um, give me a sec to see how this, what, how this side quest goes. Okay, yep, we can do this one instantly. Uh, nothing matters for this one, so we can't do that. Uh, but we'll do that when we get there. Because like I said, I knew exactly who this looked like. Ah, well, I'm glad the market's been repaired. Yep, and it's a very good thing. Well, the market's been uh, put back to the, uh, put back right. If the restoration had taken a bit longer, we probably would have ended up being swallowed up by the, the Stella shop. Well, that probably would have made our... That probably would have made our business better the way things are going. Would it now? Welcome to the Freedom Hotel. We apologize for any inconvenience during the market reconstruction. Alright. As for now, we are operating as normal. Please, relax and enjoy yourself. Just checking the rooms, making sure there's nobody in them. The Imperial Ambassador finally went home. And he was always acting so high and mighty. What a jerk. It's too bad that the merchants are gone are uh, gone back, but I'm really glad that he's gone. Well, as long as you're happy, I suppose. Whew, I gotta go back to work tomorrow. I don't want to. <laughs> I gotta deal with I have to deal with certain people that I don't wish to. Well, thanks to you good bracers. Peace has been returned. My only remaining concern is that you that the young mistress is health. Uh, we shall take care to ensure that she does not overlook herself. It's in the kitchen. Well, the market is reopened, and yet Mayor Maybell is still busy. It's so difficult being mayor, is it now? Probably so, I don't know. Oh boy, has a room in the basement. That flooding comes in fast. Hello, everyone. You have the most sincere... Yeah, you have my most sincere thanks. Um, helping Miss Maybell. Uh, yeah. I kind of feel like you're the one who suffered the most in all this. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I love how she's not opening her eyes. Hey, yeah, I am fine. Please do not worry on my account. More importantly, I believe that you're heading to the Kingfisher Inn on Miss Maybell's invitation. You've been working very hard between the dragon case and the other things. Yep, she opened her eyes. Please, enjoy your chance to relax. Miss Maybell's worries are greater than oh, thank you. We'll enjoy ourselves, trust me. Interesting. Uh, let me see. There it is. Huh? Th that picture? Uh, yeah, you see, we explained everything. I, I see. You have any idea who this, who this is in the photo? No, I'm afraid not. You sure? You looked a bit surprised when you saw it. Yes, it just struck me as how much that girl resembles an acquaintance. I was a little unsure if it was her. I'm sorry, but I must get 
get back to work. Pardon me. Mm-hmm. Hello again, everyone. Thank you for all your hard work. If you're wondering about the Goldia Crystal, uh, don't worry. I'll use it very carefully. And by the way, has Lugren told you about the arrangements I made? Yeah, he told us. And then we're just glad, yeah, we're just glad to uh, abuse your hospitality, if you don't mind. Abuse it to your heart's content. I know it isn't much of a holiday, but do try to get some rest. We intend to. Yeah, don't worry. We'll take it easy. They do say that resting is part of a racer's job. Have a good holiday, everyone. And then, I believe we... There we go. This is... Estelle. Where in the world did you get this picture? Uh, well... We explained everything. Is that so? Why has this come up now? Of all time. Is that... Why do I get the feeling that you have some idea what's up? I... I may at that. Out of curiosity, have you shown that photograph to Lila yet? Yeah, actually. We showed it to her a bit ago. Did you now? Did she say anything? Yeah. She really freaked out for a moment when she saw it. She didn't say much of anything, though. Well, it was so obvious that she was hiding something about it. I see. Blast it, Lila. Why? <sighs> well, I suppose it falls on me to explain. Well, I think I'm a little lost. You know who the girl is in the picture? Of course I do. I've known this girl in the picture for ages, and she's very important to me. Because that girl in the picture is Lila. Say what? I mean, come on, it was pretty obvious. Lila's the only person in town with blue hair. <laughs> At least I think she is. Anyways, oh my. Certainly not what I expected. Okay, so the people next door to me are doing construction, I guess. And they had a drill that's really loud. I'm surprised my mic didn't pick it up, but it's going to be hard for me to focus while this stuff is going on. So, yeah. Certainly not what I expected. Um, you sure? Completely and absolutely. Ugh. I'm going to try to get through this particular part of the story and then turn off and then turn this recording off. I really can't focus with all that drilling. But, yeah. And if you guys are hearing it when I do talk, I apologize for that. I'm going to try to scoop my mic back as much as possible from the wall. But anyway, Lila came he yeah, well, Lila came to our home on a certain day 10 years ago. The day the army of the Airbon yeah, the day the army of Airbonia began its assault on the city of Bose. No way. When father returned after assisting in the evacuation of much of the citizenry, most most of the citizens he had the girl with him. Father would only say that he had been entrusted with him by tra by strangers. That girl was Lila. Now that I yeah, now that I look, she was even wearing the same clothes then, though they were bloody and torn. That more or less matches Corona's uh, testimony. I think we have our answer. One thing though, the names. We're looking for a girl named Rainy. Not Lila. Rainy? So that was Lila's old name. Yeah, that's what Corna told us, at least. Hang on. You didn't know Lila's real name, Mayor Maybell? No, she never told us. Oh. Uh, she did not name herself. I find it hard to believe she did not know her own name at that age. I wish she could have given us her name, or anything in those days. When Lila came to live with us, she could barely say anything at all. How can I even describe it? It was as if she was in a state where she'd forgotten how to speak entirely. Well, how would that even... I have heard of extreme mental shock can temporarily rob one's ability to speak. And if something terrible were to happen to a child... Then, yeah... Dragons give her strength. And what did she witness that day? Uh, yes, her soul was far from hurt than her body when she came to live with us. We all tried our best, but Lila always kept a little distance between herself and everyone else. So we never learned her true name. So how'd she get the name Lila then? 
father gave it to her. It was inconvenient. Uh, to say the least, for her to remain nameless. Hm, I see. I think we understand now. All that's left is to ask is to ask her. Yes. There's only one thing to do. Alright. Let me get Sarah and bring her here. Sarah? Oh, okay. Oop, I brought her, my lady. Thank you, Sarah. Would you leave us for a bit? <laughs> of course. Pardon me. Lila, come here. What would you ask of me, Mayor, uh, Miss Maybell? Our bracer friend showed me this photograph. That certainly is a familiar face, isn't it? Lila, this is you, isn't it? I think I can guess why you're remaining quiet. You're concerned about Father, aren't you? I know you feel as though you owe Father a great debt. But Lila, I don't want to be the burden on your life. And I know he wouldn't either. A burden? Yes, it's why you haven't said anything about uh, about this all this time, isn't it? You feel obligated to remain here out of the debt to what my father did. That is, well, father said it often, didn't he? Those trapped by the shackles of the past can never blaze a new trail. Lila, you've done more for our family than could, all right, than could ever have been expected or asked of you. You don't need to keep shacking yourself to the past. Go. Meet this corner woman. Meet her and reclaim your life. Miss Maybell, I understand what you're trying to say. Unfortunately, however, the rainy that you're searching for is no longer with us. Huh? What do you mean? Rainy was killed in the Hundred Days War alongside her parents. She rests peacefully somewhere in this land. That is what I've told myself all these years. Because, because if I didn't, it would be too sad and too lonely to bear. Isla, I can't believe this. You've been such an idiot. You've been bearing this all within. Yeah, but you've been bearing this within you all this time. I should have. Um, Lila, I don't think you need to lie to yourself anymore, don't you? I'm sorry. Mayor Maybell, Sarah, Maynard and the people of the market. I bet a lot of others around town, too. Ugh, that drill. Everyone thinks of you as a part of their family, Lila. There's no way you're alone anymore. Estelle? Indeed. I think so as well. Hm, yes, I agree. It may be sim- yeah, it may simply be my humble opinion, but you are hardly alone here. Lila, are you listening? Do you see what they mean? You're one of the most- no. With father gone, you are the most precious important person in my life. So saying that you're alone like that, please. Please don't say something so terribly sad. You've never been alone, Lila, ever. Miss Maybell. And Lila? Lying to yourself to forget something painful. It's exactly what father hated to see. Someone trapped by their past. Father entrusted us both with such a valuable lesson. Please, don't let it go to waste. Lila, go meet Corna, please. Or does what father taught us mean so little to you? I... Very well, I'll accept defeat. Miss Maybell, you're terrible. How was anyone meant to say no to an argument like that? That, my dear, is the secret driving a hard bargain. Alright, well that's that. Well, good to see that that's all settled. Yes, and I'm glad. Come on then, let's go meet her. Pardon? Go meet? Uh, wait, you're coming, uh, Mayor Maybell? I don't think that's a problem. With her father passed away, she has to be in it instead. Yes, yes, precisely. Come on, Lila, let's be off. All right. I'll accompany you then. Oh, no, you don't. I'm the one accompanying you this time. Come on, get in front of me. Left, right, left, right, let's go. But, <laughs> well, it's okay, Lila. After all, you're the star this time. Precisely, see? Listen to the smart bracer lady. Come on, hurry now. I'll be right behind you. 
Maybell? I see. To, things, uh, to think things got so complicated. Rainy, I'm so sorry that we didn't come looking for you. I wish we could have found you sooner. No, Auntie, don't apologize. It wasn't anyone's fault except maybe that of the times. And over the last 10 years, I, oh my gosh, I can't think. <laughs> that drilling is, uh, I just want to get this, I just want to get this part of the quest over with so I can just stop recording. Because I legit cannot think with all that, <laughs> with all that uh, drilling going on. All right. I can honestly see why, maybe, I can honestly, I can honestly say I've been very happy. Miss Maybell, thank you so very much. I owe you and your father a debt to, that can never be repaid. No, not at all. If anything, I, oh crap, if anything, I should be grateful. I don't know what the other line said. Anyways, while it has been such an important part of my life, I should say, Rainy, I'm sorry. No, please, call her as you have. That is the name she has here, after all. I am just glad to know that she has been safe and happy, no matter her name. Miss Maywell, I beg you, please continue to take care of her. Well, I would certainly love for her to remain with us, but do you not intend to take her home with you? Oh, I plan to at first, of course, but seeing her now, I couldn't be so cruel. And, yeah, to continue living here with the people that she loves and all her friends. No one who loves her could take her away. F yeah, could take that away from her. Auntie Corna. Now, now, Dumpling. <laughs> Dumpling. Oh gosh. Now, don't make that face. Of course, I do hope that you come visit your uncle and me every once in a while. I know the distance will make it difficult, but we would both love it. Why would the distance be an issue? Huh, didn't I mention? Our home is quite far away. You know where the Layman State is? I t oh, wow. They, she lives in Layman State? Okay. From what I from what I remember, Layman State is north. Um, it's in the north. It's in the northern end of the... Or, yeah, one of the northern parts of the continent. Um, I believe the Layman State is north of Erebonia, actually. Um... Give me a quick second. I have to look this up now. Uh, where's Zumeria? Continent of Zumeria. All right, here we go. Here's a good one. Oh, this one looks like it has part of Calvary in it, too. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that is. Where, okay, hold on. Give me a sec. I need to find Layman, Layman State. Layman State. Uh, let's see. Let's see. There's the barrel. There's Calvert. Interesting. I haven't seen this part of Calvert. Okay, that's a new place. Oh, wow. Okay, Layman State is... Oh, yeah. All right. Woo-wee. I didn't realize how far Layman State was. Okay, so Layman State is... For... To give you guys a visual... Um, Right above... Like, so... North of us, where we're at right now in Bose, is Erebonia. To the east of, or uh, to the east of us, and to the east of um, Erebonia is the Republic of Calvert. And if you go to the, um, yeah, so Calvert is where Zen is from. And if you were to go northwest, no, I'm sorry, northeast of Republic Calvert, that uh, what you call it, Layman State is over there. That's crazy. I didn't realize how far Layman. I didn't realize that Layman State is. I thought Lehman State was north of Erebonia, but no. I was wrong. Wow. Yeah. She's very far away. They are very far away. Okay. Well, let's continue. Lehman State? Of course I've heard of it. That's where the guild has its uh, training ground and headquarters. Dang. Yeah, they're far away. They're really far away. And we were there at the beginning of the game, too. Most bracers have heard of it, yes. I see. So Lila's not from Libero. That does sort of explain kind of the unique feeling that she was giving off. Even by airship, it's quite the trip. I do hope that you will come visit someday. But even then, I will still keep in touch. I will, too. 
and I promise that I'll find time to visit. I'll be counting the days until then. Now, Rainy? Uh, let me get another good look at you. Ah, you really are the image of your mother. I look like mother? That you do. No, hold on. It was just, text, or just a notification. Anyways, that you do. Not in just appearance, but in the way that you move, your speech. You really are so like your mother when she was your age. And I'm sure she has been watching over you. Your wonderful new friends and family is what she would have wanted. Live happily, my Rainy. For your mother's sake as well. I will, Auntie. I promise I will. All right. Say, Lila. Yes, Miss Maybell? About what we were discussing earlier. When were you planning on doing it? My trip back to Layman, you mean? I haven't quite decided yet. All right. Just be sure to let me know when you're going in advance, okay? I'll need to adjust my schedule. What do you mean, Miss Maybell? Well, I am going with you, after all. I really want to see what your home was like. Besides, besides what? I was thinking. It would be a really, it would be really nice to hear some stories from your childhood. I know you've heard all sorts of stories about me from before that you came to live here. And I need to find some kind of embarrassing chink in that armor of yours. Or I won't be able to do anything with you. So you're after my naughtiest secrets. Well, I'm afraid I shall have to disappoint you, Miss Maybell. My early childhood was one of exqu exquisite conduct. Unlike certain infamous tomboys who would be who would be scandalized should uh, should their past be in, uh, be made public, I have nothing to fear. Oh, really? I wouldn't underestimate my ability to sniff out the truth if I were you. Well, let's see what you can manage. And I'll let you know as soon as I've made my decision. Please do, Lila. Anyways, what's on the agenda today? We have a regularly scheduled meeting inside the manor for, uh, for morning until tea time. Afterwards, you will attend a review board for applicants to the market. Wait, the review board? That's today? <sighs> Adios. Just strike me dead. I, ha I have to read those applicant evaluations right away? Lila, hurry. We've got to move it. Oh, my goodness. Something tells me that I won't be going to Layman for a while. Alright, unfortunately I have to stop my recording here, but this won't be the end of the actual video. Alright, so it is the very next morning for me, guys. Uh, my mornings take... Oh yeah, my mornings start at 12.45 a.m. And, uh, yeah, this is... I normally don't do this. I haven't recorded... Wake, I haven't recorded waking up and go uh, before going to work and I've been like oof a very long time It has been a hot minute since I've done this. So this is, seems weird. So sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy um, Yeah, sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy I just want to make sure that this is the same save file. I should have did this before I started but I didn't uh, Where's my bracer notebook? Bracer notebook And we just did this one memories of the distant. All right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up talking to all the people and then um, I'm going to call it for this recording session, <laughs> but yeah. Hey, Mina. What? Do you think I have what it takes to be a merchant? Yeah, I think so. R really? Yeah. You really like it and you really want to do it. I kind of think you're too honest sometimes, but that also makes you really easy to trust. So, um... I think you'll succeed. Oh, um, okay, well, I'm gonna do my best. Well, there you go. The girl that likes you believes in you. I mean, that's always a plus, I suppose. Oh, yes, I'm so glad that the market's reopened. This is a great day. I should go shopping. That market reopened within, like, two days. That's crazy. They rebuilt that stuff in, like, two days. Maybe three, I don't remember. The market reopens today, and Bose returns to normal. 
it's somewhat troubling that so few people had come to offer prayers of thanks. Shopping is a luxury which may only be truly enjoyed in times of peace. I suppose I can overlook it though. Just this one. <sighs> Finally, peace has returned to, Bose, to the Bose region. The market has reopened safely, and Ravenue's orchards are recovering. After two days, you gotta regrow all those orchards! <laughs> and, while it will take time to restore our lives, we will succeed. There's no doubt about that. After all, we recovered so wonderfully, even from the tragedy of that war. Have y'all now. Alrighty. Oh, it's Sting. Oh, hey everyone. I should be able to cover bows now. Sorry that you had to spend time filling in for me. No, it's all good, man. I thought there were more bows. Um, cause listen, Kurt, isn't he from bows too? Well, I know he's. A, I know him and Karna are out and about. And I believe like there was one other bracer, but I can't remember. Welcome to the answer, Rose. Things are finally back to normal. It's hard to really appreciate wine when there are so many distractions and unrest in the city. There's a saying that, yeah, there's a saying that hunger is the greatest spice, but in my experience, in my experience, I would say that peace is the greatest hidden flavor. Is it now? Oh my, I hadn't even realized until just now. This delectable porridge is a new dish on the menu. How silly of me, I, yeah, how silly of me. I've had it so many times, it just feels like a classic already. <sighs> All the turmoil that's come about in recent days has worried me so. That Imperial gentleman, yeah, that Imperial gentleman who came for the arranged marriage meeting has already left. The young lady he was meeting with has returned home as well. <sighs> the two of them must have been born into well-to-do families, don't you think? Here they were in our restaurant talking marriage proposals. Hmm. Yeah, the meals here are yeah, really are the best I've ever had. It tastes even better knowing that it was uh, knowing that it's on the mayor's tab. Terrible. I mean, I I mean I know uh, for me gum tastes a lot better when it's given to me by somebody else rather than me buying it. I don't know if it's the same for you. Uh, same for you guys. But yeah, I guess it just goes like, I guess it just goes with food as well. Food tastes a lot better when you're not the one paying for it. <laughs> Anyways, it was worth helping me out for the construction for a treat like this. I was invited by the mayor as uh, thanks for my efforts during the market's repair. Perhaps because of that, it feels very different than when I was here last time. Today, I feel strangely calm and natural, even from my perspective. That's always nice. Well, thank you, Idios. We finally got some wine delivered this morning. I freak out every time an airship stops by. Still, airships are a airships are the whole reason we can drink liquor from around the world. Around the world, okay. Hard to complain too much with the perks like that. It seems that the scheduled liners are resumed, but it has no effect on my business. After all, my after all, my business is more rare, idiocentric gems. I could not figure out how to pronounce that word for a second. <laughs> I've got a lineup no one else in the business could hope to imitate. This man be poaching rare monsters. That's crazy though that they eat monsters. The last thing I saw with people eating monsters, well, one person eating monsters was that um, ooh, from Strong the Comet or. Strong the commonplace? No. What was it called? Our Fruetta or whatever? I don't know. The main guy, he was weak. His uh, classmates left him, let him to die. And like he was like really weak and um, he trapped like a bunch of monsters and um and they like you know they died due to the traps that he made and he would just eat them and his hair turned like his hair turned white, eyes turned red, and the dude just became a monster himself for the most part. Monster is in terms of like he didn't give a crap about people's feelings. But yeah, no, we were having yeah we were having trouble for a while, but now I've got all the ingredients a guy could ask for. 
it wasn't easy, yeah, it wasn't easy to be so conservative with our stock. I'm ready to cook up exotic meals like the best of them. The schedule liners are, are running now. We can get stuff in stock normally again. Seems like the new merchants are gonna get us any rare ingredients that we need. We could finally put together a brand new menu this way, and believe me, I'm up for the challenge. Alright, time to get serious. Yeah, this girl reminds me of my mom. My mom loves making new dishes. Um, like her own original dishes, not like, a, like a, she has like her, I believe she has like her own little cookbook of stuff that her mother and her grandmother have made with some of the stuff that they experimented with and my mom just added on to that too. And then she was just like, son, whenever you get a wife, I'm gonna give this. She doesn't sound like that. <laughs> I'm only saying, I'm only talking like that because she's 60, but she doesn't sound, but she doesn't sound like she's 60. Um, but she's like, I'm gonna pass this recipe book to your wife. I'm like, all right, mom. <laughs> Anyways, I've been talking business with a, with this fascinating new merchant over the last few days. Uh, to converse with the young, I thought to give him a few pointers and instead found myself inspired by his youthful vigor. <laughs> I hope we get the chance to chat again soon. We won't. Thank you so much for all your help. I was wondering how things would turn out with the market closed, and thanks to you, not only did we manage to minimize the damage, we even turned a profit. No, no, I've been quite help, uh, helped already. I haven't been taking profit into account at all, but I'm sure we could come up with a deal in some way or another. Perhaps the scheduled airships being resumed sooner than expected had some effort. Oh, I say, did y'all even do anything? They probably did, I don't know. Oh yeah, we got a lot of people in this market to talk to. Alright. Today there's a restoration yeah, there's a restoration memorial sale. The first price cut in a while. I'm not offering yeah, I'm not offering this best position to anyone. Thanks to the authority of the Queen, the dragon has been driven out, it seems. The market's been restored, so now I can return to business. The other day, I ended up visiting the, the mayoral residence by chance. I had the opportunity to observe a number of antiques up close. Truly seeing the real thing up close is, is spectacular. It was a good chance to polish my eyes. Ah, hey, welcome. I decided to stand around in bows and help, or to stay around in bows. And help with the store for a while longer. Oh, this is the, okay, he's from Ravenue Village, here we go. After all, I put a lot of work on my wife and Palm's shoulders. I'd like to repay the debt at least a little. Dad, that doesn't go on that shelf. Come on, keep it together. I made the same mistake just a bit ago. Dang. <laughs> Even your son is cute. <laughs> well, my husband's helping out around the store today. Well, thanks to that, I can focus on business. Oh, hey, welcome. Delicious ice cream is finally back. The smiles are back on everyone's faces. The market really is a symbol of bows. Oh, hey, welcome. With the military restrictions lifted, distribution is back to a normal. New issue should start getting delivered soon. And if you'd like to check it out in the store. It's like, come on by, take a look. I've got top class carpets from the Republic for 500 Mira. That's 500 Mira. And you know what else? As part of the return of business of the campaign, uh, you get another one of the same carpet for free. What a deal. Really no. Let's see, do we have a uh Alright, so a little barrel news. Since we have it, we might as well read it. I still have to read Gambler Jacks 8 and 9 to y'all. Yeah, we got 8 and 9. All right. Seven pages? Wow. All right, Dragon leaves Libero's borders. The dragon that appeared suddenly in Bose and caused damage to the region has been confirmed by the Royal Army as having left the borders following a failed plan to capture the creature. The border garrison is continuing patrols, but no further sightings have been reported since then. The Libero News is following developments closely as we report from the front line. 
full details in the capture operation. The day after the dragon appeared, the royal army immediately enacted a plan to capture the dragon. Enforcing the capture portion of the plan was Queen Alicia, was a Queen Alicia, whose respect for the holy creatures shaped an operation. My phone is going off. Okay, that was Persona 3 standard. Uh, Anthony Moonlight, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. I have my uh, alarm set to um, Spotify, which I never use. I picked one song, I picked one artist that I like. No, a few artists, which was Hideki Nakanuma and um, Two Mellow and somebody else. I can't remember who it was. And it just, it doesn't even show me half of those, uh, half those songs in their styles anymore. They, I think it just, <laughs> I think it just, yeah, I think it just said it didn't care. Just picked up any random songs now. I don't mind it. It gets me up in the morning. So, hey. But yeah, I have two alarms. One set for 12.45 and one set for 1.30 just in case I don't wake up. But yeah, which has happened a few times. But yeah, anyways. Portion of the capture of portion of the Alicia, who is very special to the capture of operation and our tranquilizers to neutralize the threat by driving into Peralia Lake and subduing it. Alright. Included in operation was the Arcel loaded with its new engine plus bracers. Um, plus bracer observers and your trusty liberal news reporters failed first capture operation after some time on standby inform on standby information came in that the dragon had been sighted above the model mine general morgan ordered the operation to begin immediately employing skillful aerial maneuvers the signature yeah the signature of the royal army the airship chase Move my mic. All right, there we go. So I can actually like relax and talk into my mic. Um. Okay. So I'm seeing that my mic is, or my music, the music is trying to overpower my mic again. Let me go ahead and uh, turn that down real quick. You guys, you guys are gonna hit or hear a dip. All right. Yeah, I just didn't like the bars getting so close to the um, so close to the yellow. So I have to bring it down in the green bring it down just a tiny bit hopefully it sounds good if not i'll just have to keep on working with it but leaving behind the airship da -da -da. all right yeah but leaving behind the army airships not good so we're sure did i read that part already <laughs> once again but it was eventually but it was eventually uh lost on the radar somewhere over nebel valley the deep silent yeah the deep silent support of the ship was only penetrated by the roar of an by the roar of the new engine echoing, echoing howly through it. Okay, hollowly through it, there we go. The first operations with the full might of the Air Force had failed. Substitute Operation Pursuit from the ground. The operation believed to be perfect had ended in a failure. However, the Royal Army immediately took to a new plan. The bracers who had been on board as observers would pursue the dragon into the Nebel Valley. It was a decision that would immediately bear fruit. Or perhaps startled by the bracer's actions, the dragons, uh, the dragon once again took to the skies. The dragon's departure confirmed. The dragon's reappearance was immediately noted by the royal forces, but the dragon only calmly flew out of Libero airspace. In such fact, like in a such fashion, uh, the case had rocked the entire kingdom, came to more or less to an end. Ancient Dragon, possibility of return. As the dragon truly departed, when asked about the possibility, yeah, when asked about the possibility of a return, the Royal Army was unable to commit, was unable to commit, was unable to comment with any certainty. For the moment, they intend to enhance national. They intend, uh, they intend to enhance national air patrols and prepare for the unexpected. Society donations pour, yeah, pour in ooh. Society. Donations pour in. When they said society, I, I thought they were talking about Ouroboros. I'm like, they donated that? Anyways. Ooh, that's 10 million Miradap. Donations have been flooding in for the affected areas of the Bose region. Amongst them was an anonymous donation of a gold septium crystal valued for 10... Okay, yeah, that's what we had. That's what we gave to... Uh, What's that called? Anyways, to say those handling the rebuilding efforts were quite shocked. Society, closed market reopens. 
All right. One week after the dragon attack. This was a week after? Okay, I guess I got my days wrong. I thought it was like a few days. I thought it was like two or three days. Anyway, one week after the dragon attack, the Bose Market is back in business following a frantic re uh, reconstruction effort. Under the guidance of Bo uh, under the guidance of Bose's Mayor Maybell, local merchants came together to make this speedy recovery possible. It reminds me of how we came together after the Hundred Days War, said a one local man. It seems the spirit of Bose is alive and well. That took way too much time to do, but we still got people to talk to. All right, the smile on the confectionery shop owner. Uh, it sure does shine. It really was worth pitching in to help with the reconstruction. I heard the market had reopened and came over to talk business immediately, but uh, with the worst timing possible, I get here just as they're starting a sale. Once that starts, nothing I say to the old lady will get through. This guy... Ah, uh, man, I kind of feel for this guy, but he just needs to move on. Like, this girl is never going to get with you. Like, she's in a good relationship with her man over here. Unless he does something to mess that up. I, I don't know. Or somebody better could come along the way and she could just uh, go with that guy. But, hey. I mean, they're only dating. I don't think they're married. I think they're just dating. Oh, welcome. We've got Costello cake made with the fluffiest, yeah, with the fluffiest eggs. It's a must try for the Bow's Market. Oh, that was just the tag of my, of my, uh, I think that was the tag of my, uh, blanket. <laughs> Welcome. I'm here to help out Dad at his store today. Aw, nice. I brought my daughter, okay, so it is a girl. I always thought it was a little boy, but yeah, it's a girl. I brought my daughter along, um, to show her the restored market. After all, my daughter is very, literally, one half of my shop's name. Is it? We here at Pollen Elks Outlet look forward to your look forward to your future's business. Well, I wonder. Well, I mean that's cool, but I wonder how long it's gonna keep a child's interest to work though. Seems like the ancient dragon went off somewhere. Thank Adios for that. Now I can work on getting ready to reopen without concern. I think it'll take a bit longer, but I look forward to your business when I'm open again. Was he the guy that was talking to the old man? I don't remember. All right, everyone. We'll be having our reopening memorial sale in moments. Want a deal? We got special. Yeah, we got special today on what? We got special. We got special today only stuff. Okay. All right. You have to be a yeah. You have to be a mad roper to miss this opportunity. Too bad your stuff is going to be the same no matter when I click on you to buy stuff. Oh, meat, vegetables, fish. I do like me some catfish. Fried catfish. All right, what should I do today? It'd be nice if, uh, yeah, it'd, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if rather than just selling ingredients, they also taught you what to make. Now that I think about it, yes, it really would. After all, when you buy a vacuum cleaner, they show you how to use it, right? Why don't they do the same with meat and fish? Well, do that stuff that, uh, what's it called? Um, do that stuff that, uh, what, what were the name of those, what were the name of those places? I know there was one, like, Blue Apron. I don't know if Blue Apron is still a thing anymore. But don't, don't they, um, they give you, like, they, um, deliver fresh ingredients and, um, re and the recipe on how to cook the stuff, right? I thought. I never tried Blue Apron. I know there's another one I was meaning to try, but I just never did. Man. Yeah. Hey, welcome. We're currently in the middle of our restoration memorial sale. After all, it's the first day that we're back in business. No way I'm gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that to sell product. Even if you fall, don't. Yeah, even if you fall, don't just get up for nothing. It's a line. It's a line of Miss Manuals. I can't pronounce that. All right, but that really is what it means to be a merchant. That line reminded me of something that I read in the Bible once. Um, I don't remember. I'm gonna have to look. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that verse up. But what did he say? Um. Oh well, it's not there anymore. 
but he had said basically basically it was basically that um what was it saying what was it saying it was saying that you know you fall when you sin but a righteous man gets right back up or something like that so it's just like you know when you sin don't dwell upon it just get right back up and keep doing what god wants you to do for the most part i have to find that verse I have to find that verse. Hopefully, I remember to put it in post. I probably won't, though. All right. Today, I, yeah, today I'm not here on yeah. Today I'm not here on errands. I got my allowance, so I'm here to do some shopping on my own. I'm gonna eat some of Castilla. Yeah, some of the Castilla this lady's been selling. All right, there you go. All right, so this is the Bose Market. My, there's quite the crowd. It's unbel yeah, it's unbelievable. That is, yeah, it's unbelievable. That is a uh, market of a minor nation. It seems even our imperial products are brought, yeah, are bought and sold quite regularly. Hm. It appears my understanding was lacking. This location will be quite sufficient as a site to export to. Just when I was practically given up, a certain merchant came to see me. Okay, this is the merchant. Uh, I think that guy that's talk that's in front of these two. I think that's the guy who was talking to that old man. I managed to uh, I managed to, yeah, I managed to find a contract at the eleventh hour. Still though, to proceed with business so vigorously in such unknown conditions, the merchant Mirano, she's got nerves of steel. She does. Oh, never mind. This is Mirano's um partner. I think. Yeah, Simon. There we go. All right. I'm showing some new customers around in the market. Those two are imperial merchants, as it happens. They're fairly major clients. I suspect we'll be dealing with people from the Empire more than soon. Monty and Marco. I'm curious, are Monty and Marco in future games? Because yeah, he said he's because he said he's from this guy. Uh, Simon said they're from the Imperial are uh, they're Imperials. I know the I I know the Imperial Market. We do I spoilers guys. We do visit the Imperial Market in a later game, and I'm wondering if they're there or not. I don't know. Ah, welcome. Did you see the market building? All right, it's back to how it used to be. It's such a good thing. That place is a symbol of bows. The whole city lit up the moment it reopened. I heard that an unbelievable, unbelievably pristine Golia crystal was delivered to the mayor. It was apparently a gift, but a crystal of that quality is more like a gift for a monarch than a mayor. It'll probably come. It, it'll probably come to that either way. That's not exactly something Mayor Maybell can just walk in here and trade Mira for. Most likely, they'll have to send it to Grand Cell. Uh, to be stored in the royal treasury, accompanied with half the royal guard. Yeah. It's a lot of money, that is. More money than I'll probably ever see at one time. Oh, Paul took Elk to, um, off to work today. He said that he wanted to show her the reopen market. I do hope that she's not being a bother to the other stores or customers. He can be a bit rambunctious. I mean, that's all children, though. That's all. That's all children. That's that's just something to one more. Oh. Oh man. Oops. I did not mean to come out here. I did not mean to come out here. I'm getting tired, y'all. I shouldn't have done this this early. And I'm starting to get a little hungry. Hey, welcome. It's a big relief having that dragon's madness settled. Now I can finally get back to business. I'm off to the uh, yeah. I'm off to the place Borden's wife is. Yeah, Borden's wife is running in the market. We're back in business after all. I need to show my support. Things are finally peaceful again, thank Adios. The airships have begun running again, and now the merchants can really get to business. It's easy to forget how complicated it all is when you're shopping. How ridiculous. I was going to ask him to do some shopping, but Kawano's nowhere to be found. 
I may have to tie, yeah, I may have to tie a leash, or at least a fishing line to him. If you see him anywhere, do, uh, do tell me, won't you? I guarantee you he went to the, um, he went to the inn next to the lake. I guarantee it. There's Mirano. Um, excuse me. You're Miss Mirano, right? Ah, yes, that's right. You all, uh, yeah, you all must be bracers. Oh, that's right, ma'am. We understand that you want to be escorted to Revenue Village. That's right. I'd like to head to that lovely little town and have a, and have a look at their orchard. Though I, yeah, though, if I may, you look a little young for a bracer. Are you quite sure that you can do this? Excuse me, ma'am? I'm a certified senior bracer. I'm totally capable of doing this. I can fully vouch for Estelle's abilities as a bracer, ma'am. If this, yeah, if that's unsatisfactory, I'm afraid you'll have to wait for another local bracer to become available. Oh my, I suppose you really can't judge by a cover. I always like putting my own covers on my books anyways. I'll trust you, young lady. How about it? Shall we be off? Uh, oof. Not right now. Actually, we have other things that we need to do right now. Other things? Ahead of escorting me? <laughs> oh, fine. Finish it quickly, and so we can leave. Sorry. Now, we'll be right back. Please do. Yep. Anyways. My girl Mirano did better than I expected, getting the Imperial Merchant right in our pocket. That's my daughter. Couldn't be more proud. And... And Borden must be splitting teeth with a... Yeah, with a great deep player. I don't know. Let's talk to these guys. These are the last people. Alright. Flights re Yeah, with flights resumed, we've begun trade with the Empire once again, but the results haven't been quite what I hoped for. Uh, doing no small part to Mirano's efforts. Hmm. Now it seems I have two rivals to contend with. And this is the last guy. Seems like the city is uh, getting back to normal. Time to start studying for the genius entrance, uh, genius entrance exams then. After all, I'd like, yeah, I look like kind of a doofus if I botched them now, with my parents finally accepting it. All right, so that was the last one, and now we have two gambler jack um, books to read. Seven pages, dang. Haley? All right. Oops. Got that. Ah. My mic is always constantly getting out of place, guys. I accidentally hit it this time. Alright, looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Okay. The clock chimed at the eleventh hour. The match between Jack and Haley was to yeah was to start at midnight exactly. She waited the she waited the interim in Enrique's room. I don't remember who Enrique was. Anyways, your father became ill and died seven years ago, and that's what the girl had heard from her mother, but three years ago she learned her father had died in a match. Haley didn't have any memories of her father, she spent her childhood with her mother, and that was exactly why, that was exactly why though they each and every one was engraved into her heart as irreplaceable treasures. The things that she remembered best were the sights. Yeah, best were the the best were the sights in the gambling dens. She didn't often get to go along, but to her, the way her father could silence even the most finely dressed gentleman with his near magical card handling was something she admired with all her heart. The last memory Haley had was him talking. Yeah, was him taking her her hand while she was in bed telling her not to worry maybe that memory maybe that memory was what kept her from believing what her mother said about how her father died after all how could the how could the how could the strong healthy man from the memory drop dead in sudden illness so suddenly one fateful moment out shopping for her out shopping for her mother she found herself heading on a whim to one of the gambling dens in the back street. 
There, overhearing some chatter from a few thugs, she came to understand the truth of her father's death. After all, after all, to the types who frequent, uh, frequent gambling dens, the match from seven years before was too famous not to talk about. Having learned the truth, she found herself consumed by one single emotion, a desire for revenge on Jack. Swearing she would become as good as her father, Haley began frequenting the gambling dens and played with and played with that one burning wish guiding her hand. It was Enrique who, hearing the rumors, spoke to Haley first. Seven years before betting on Jack, he had chimed victory on his conflict with yeah, with Juan. And now he and now he saw a chance to do the same yet yeah, to do the same again by setting King's daughter against Jack. And so he brought the idea of recreating the match to her. To Haley, it was uh, to Haley it was the perfect means to an end, cutting off connection with her mother. She joined in yeah, she joined Enrique's group. Being blessed with talent to begin with, and having abandoned all else to focus on improving, she reached King's level in barely three years. Haley's eye, yet yeah, Haley's eyes were distant as she waited quietly for the match. Perhaps those three years were running through. Yeah, perhaps those three years were running through them. Still seated, the boat. Yeah, still seated. She bowed. Her, yeah, she bowed her head and let out a big long sigh. No need to. Yeah, no need to let the weight of this drag you down. You know, Enrique said softly to her. Don't worry, she replied. Now that I'm here, my heart is as light as a feather. Her face betrayed the yeah. Her face betrayed the lie in her words as she, yeah, as a flicker of sorrow uh, ceased her features. But it was only a moment in the yeah. But it was only a moment in the next. She was back to the same poker face. Right now, the only thing on her mind is seeing Jack lose. Hearing Haley's words, Enrique's lips twisted up. Perhaps it was yeah. Perhaps it was confidence in his victory that wrapped his face. All right, volume nine. I think this might be the last volume. I'm not sure. Nostalgia. While Haley, like, while Haley sat in contempted and contemplated her past. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place with this reading. I'm just really hungry. I didn't eat breakfast yet. But yeah, contemplated. Da -da -da -da. All right. Jack was hunched. Yeah, was hunched at the bar. Yeah, at the bar counter in the main hall. It was a spot with a full. Yeah, it was a spot with a full view of the settling for the match to come. He stared at the stage, never he, yeah, never once even touching the drink he had ordered. The same yeah, the same seats, the same colors. The more he looked at it, the more it felt as if the events of seven years ago had happened only yesterday. A voice started a voice started what a voice started Jack from his reverie? Started? I don't, that doesn't make sense to me anyways. How about a drink on me then? Without turning, he wordlessly shook his head. Jack didn't need to, uh, need to look through seven-year-old memories to know the voice, to, to know the voice, to know that voice all too well. It was Juan. Seven years ago, Juan had bet on King's victory and lost. The one who punished King with death was without doubt this man. Jack, your skills took down even King. I'm looking forward to seeing them again. And with that, Juan disappeared. Jack taking down King, huh? Jack's lips twisted into a bitter smile. The clock ticked steadily away. It was 11.50. The match will begin in 10 minutes. The guests had begun to gather in the hall. Every one of them seemed to have been waiting eagerly for this night. And he had money riding on the outcome, Cap uh, compared to Enrique or Juan's contest. Uh, they barely had, yeah, they barely had anything to lose. Haley found Enrique, yeah, Haley found Enrique. Oh, I'm sorry. Haley followed Enrique out into the hall, taking her seat immediately. She sat quietly. I straight, yeah, I straight ahead. If she was, if she was bothered by the crowd or the enormity of the event, she had, yeah, she had, yeah, she gave no sign. 
after watching Haley take her place. Jack slowly arose from yeah, Jack slowly arose from his spot at the bar. Unlike Haley, Jack had been had a bit of a name. And as he stepped forward, the crowd, the crowd called out. It brought back it brought back more memories to himself from seven years ago. Excited by the crowd and elated by the game. Jack and Haley were both seated now. The card table in the the card table in the center of the hall lay between them. The two faced each other, and yet their gazes never met even once. In total silence, time passed. Shortly after the two took their seats, a black garbed man sat in a chair across from them both. Just like seven years ago, he was the dealer provided by Chief Minister Shamrock. Either pressed a switch between the car table. Slowly, the table area sank into the floor, allowing the guests uh, allowing the guests in the hall in the hall a bird's eye view of the duel. From behind their respective black back players, Juan's group and Enrique's group cast intense gazes at the gambler's hands. Further back behind, all the what? Yeah, further back. Behind it all and watching over everything was Chief Minister Shamrock. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a revenge match, Enrique yelled, unable to contain his excitement. It had been seven years since they had such a high stakes game. The crowd, yeah, the crowd answered Enrique's introduction with a roar of approval. Alright, so it's probably got like two, maybe one or two more uh, games. But yeah, that's going to be it for this part. Um, this was a very long one due to me accidentally accepting that quest. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.